All right, so for now, I'm gonna go ahead and just take everything out of this bag. Target receipt, Dollar Tree receipt. Receipt. Oh, and I forgot to mention to you guys, I got this game for Alden for Christmas. It's a scavenger hunt game to play in the car. So each player gets um five cards like you shuffle the cards each player gets five and whoever can like spot as many of the items that are on your cards whoever finds everything on their card first wins basically but it's a cute little game i just found it on amazon So disappointed about this again it's better than not using any sanitizer but it says 62% alcohol <sighs> do you really like that 99.8 or 9 effective stuff though you know okay I think the first thing I'm gonna do is switch wallets I haven't switched wallets in quite a while tree receipt anymore. We'll keep my dentist card though. Alright. I really love this wallet. Like, I hate to switch from it, but I am excited to have a new wallet. Again, not that I really needed a new one. I just felt like treating myself since, again, I had Christmas money to do so. Dad's stuff I'm keeping on this other side. And then it looks like there's a pocket here and here. So there's two pockets. And there's a pocket on that side. So, keep those in there. 
all the pictures I want to keep with me, I will slide in there. And the letters from my dad. And then I will keep my cash. got my coin back in this little zippered compartment, my cash in this zippered compartment, and there we have it. And it has a nice little wrist strap in case you just feel like carrying your wallet in the store and you don't feel like taking a purse in, so that's always really nice. Now, let's go ahead and attach... I seriously keep thinking that this pocket is supposed to be on the front, but it's not because otherwise the zipper would be backwards and then the zip pocket on the inside is on this side, which is the back of the purse. Definitely gonna have to adjust this. Let's see how that works. All right, let's see what all we can fit into this purse. I'm gonna try. Bring you down a little bit more. That way you can see the purse better. So, let's stick my wallet in. Ooh, boy. Sunglasses. My little planner and notebook. of my little bombshell. Gotta have my wet wipes. Let's see if it'll fit in this. Fits perfectly in that pocket. My lip gloss, lip balm, and then I found this little lip balm in one of my other purses. I haven't used it in a while. It's the Carmex Comfort Care Colloidal, Colloidal Oatmeal in uh, Mixed Berry. I feel like I might have just mentioned this to you guys, but I really like this one and it smells really nice. So I'm going to keep that in my purse as well. Of course, my mints. Let's see, the back zippered pocket. I'm going to keep what I typically keep back there, which would be deodorant wipes, just in case. A new pack of Manto's mints. Extra set of keys for me and my mom's friend's house. Nail clippers, peppermint oil rollerball, and I think that is it. And then let's see what else can fit in here. Of course. My mask and Alden's mask. This thing, I always feel ridiculous with it on, 
but I'd rather wear it in the store so that my glasses aren't constantly falling off my face. So I don't care if I look weird with something like tied up against my head or anything just because, you know, at least I know my glasses are going to stay safe on my face. Uh, of course, I need some pens. I'm sorry my light keeps, like, getting brighter and dimmer. The, uh, the cord that plugs into the actual light, I guess it's loose, so sometimes if it, like, moves at all, it makes the whole thing, like, go dim or get brighter, so I am sorry about that. My keys are a necessity. Baby aspirin. And instead of carrying the big ibuprofen, I'm going to put some in here really quick just so it saves room because this purse is definitely not huge. It's just what I've been wanting. It's like the perfect in-between size, so give me just a minute. Okay, so... I poured ibuprofen in here. This is Sudafed. Oh, that's my anxiety medication, nausea medication. I believe that's Aleve, actually. Is that where my Aleve went? Yep, I thought I lost it. So that is Aleve. This has a couple of magnesium capsules and a couple of 24-hour allergy pills, which I don't like to take since I like to take Benadryl at night. But I have them just in case. This has Tylenol, and then this usually has Benadryl, but I might put a few aspirin in there because sometimes I don't want to take um, ibuprofen, and if I don't have Excedrin or Aleve for any reason, my mom always says it's okay to take one aspirin and one Tylenol together, and sometimes that combo helps, but aspirin by itself or Tylenol by itself doesn't help me, so... I have my essentials with me in there, and again, I will not add baby aspirin to it just because I don't ever want to get confused or forget what it is and not know, you know, what the right thing is to give to Alden if he needs a baby aspirin, you know what I mean? I'd rather play it safe than sorry. Um, now this will fit, but I don't want to make the purse too bulky, so I'm going to try and find something maybe a little bit smaller, um, mainly for the Neosporin, the Band-Aids, and a little, like, one or two things of my eye drops. Um, my mirror can go in the purse. It's not like I'm looking in the mirror constantly when I'm out or anything, but I mean, just in case, I will keep this in my purse. That fits in the little slip pocket as well. So far, I'm liking it. It's not super heavy. Again, look at how small that little slip looks, and my phone actually fits in it with a case on it, which is crazy to me. Um, let's see. Um, I will go ahead and throw this sanitizer spray in my purse since it is 99.9% .9 effective. Um, and this one as well to finish it off because I know this one's also 99.9% .9 effective. I liked, see, I touched the cord and it it made the light go crazy. I like this because it comes in the rubber thing and I can hang it on the outside of my purse. Typically I don't hang things on the outside of my purse, but I did because when I go shopping I'd like to be able to quickly just get this onto my hands rather than digging through my purse for it. One second. So I will still use this. I just want to use up the good stuff first. So I'm going to retire this one for now. Um, this just says Q-tips in it. Again, I'm going to find something smaller for like important stuff in case I need it for Alden, Band-Aids, Neosporin, that stuff. Maybe I can throw some Q-tips in whatever I find. 
but my gum is a necessity. And I am going to keep my white chocolate peanut M&Ms in here. Um, because if I forget about them, then I won't just eat them right away. And if I go somewhere, I'll have a snack. Oh, but I do also want to put my lotion in here. So that should fit right in there. Let's see. Yeah, all of this stuff. And then this I keep in my purse when we go somewhere during the day where me and Alden can actually play the game. But I don't just keep it in my purse all the time. Like, I'll keep it on my dresser, and if I see it, I'll remember, like, oh, we're going somewhere. I'm going to take the game for us to play. So here is what the inside looks like. It may not seem organized, but it is. <laughs> So yeah, I am very excited to use this purse. I'm in love with it. I will probably be using this for a long time. Um, again, it's just, it's a nice size. It's not huge by any means. It's not small. It's the perfect medium size bag. It's not heavy to where it's going to hurt my shoulder when I carry it crossbody. Um, again, it's cute. You can just carry it like this. Let me see if... It fits on my shoulder like this, but if I have a coat or a hoodie or something on, I don't think it would work. But in a short sleeve shirt, I can absolutely carry it by the handles like this on my shoulder. So that's something good to know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go find a little pouch that'll fit better in this purse for a few necessities just in case we go to the park and Alden gets hurt or something like that. I like to know that I have something on hand. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this up and I will definitely talk to you guys again really soon. Bye!